That the hummingbird's wings are of a remarkable rapidity, he had noted off. Nothing could be done. The shift of his breathing. Had to begin. Twelve o'clock, and he still hadn't had a... Dermal sensation. The block of the governor. Is therefore revealing. The muck of the plains. Living blue. A means of reversing. Where rub is so manifest. Such crooked, crooked paths, such ways this palace hides. Wit and power to study the travail. New adventures, list he undertake. The way and its power. Leading to the outside. And the eyes of the law. A long time and ideas rise up. Toward, toward gratification. Inhaling, exhaling, rise and fall. I name that audacity with him a hundredfold. The intellect does in the soul. I name that audacity whose courage on man. In the form that is with the heavenly heart. Excitations unbounded. Indolence, indolence and distraction. Directly the roots of towards punishment, towards the origins matters, and histories of consciousness. Of Dispatched from the earth by his brothers, he began to breathe again. For a long time now I have felt the void like the plague. The power. Creating in the soul the craving of. The greatest force. Wild animals. Size of the altar. Indispensable for those who would apprehend his meaning aright. Our most logical form, the syllogism. My consternation spread. As the greatest force. And the big hat with the turquoise inlaid eye. At the bottom of her soul. Look, Nina, as the general. the vermin of the house. Holding back. The lymphatic milk of fish. Made in silence. Through the way. More literary than music, the so-called music. The swarming population. Low for this little while. Sugar cursey, fish hook. From the freshness of my eyes. Little boat and a smell of. The revolver. Ready. Come, O bird, settle a moment. Experience, experience anything. A bullock wagon. The tramp of feathers. The thunder drop. The white snake. For a long time now I have felt, felt the, the void like, like the plague. It is, is the revelation. A formidable call to the, the forces that impel the mind. We do not see it as it is, but as it has been fashioned. Moving heads on rollers. Animated hieroglyphs. A disinclination or resistance. Rolling eyes. Pouting lips. Muscular spasms. Mirror. Shoots. Sources. Limbs. In a Fear is burning, east, east is burning. The old man drew in a black spirit hugely against, in the flickering light, again, against, in the earliest march, courageous, far more astounding, astounding. The days in which sweet Brian, Nebraska, at the spring, at sunset, the night in disguise, who knows, the would be merman, the foolish queen, adventures while singing, when Peter Jackson reached. An old church. Factory windows are always broken. This is the price I pay for the light I shall someday see. And what if my body dies of this small inland town? But drunk in tears, no bird, great beds of poppy, only a slate dissolved in thunder jars, no guardian, nine times battered to wear and weaving. Oh, keep him safe, reveal him whose he was and who he was. With the peak of the mountain and his bones were bold as the Egyptian ash ship onward she bore a child, clop, clop of horses, stored, assembled, and disassembled the startling impact of their loud bursts of noise as they arrived at unpredictable intervals of the stream. The lines which spread. The theater's alchemy. At night, anyway. In a tight net. The huge. When I saw that the light appeared, I was astonished. And again fell down, fell dead away. This is indeed the spirit of wisdom, the eastern source. Preserving their antiquity. For none of the pleasures I have is equal to what is given me. The lines which spread. The theater's alchemy. Some of these seem much older than was thought. Kant's imminence or indwelling in the world. A particularly searching theory of the Shekinah. The king on his throne. Followers developed developed in great detail. Most shameful sinners burn. The process of creation burns. There are two versions of it. In Genesis. In short, before all else, entirely practical. Works of the chariot. My hopes for the theater are, strictly speaking, idealized. Logos in vacuum. Innermost joy. Bound by love. These are the manifestations. The next morning I communicated to my teacher. Lines that spread. Anyway, that's the chorus. Uh, there's a sort of story that goes with this. Um, I had practiced it, um, worked it out with a, uh, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> um, she knows what I'm going to say. I had worked it out with a tape recorder. And there are a couple of, you can see the, uh, I told Adele when she got home, I want you to read this, and I'm going to read this, and they're, come out at, they're going to come out at the same time. And she said, no, they're not going to come out at the same time. Look, there's a lot less here, the space, etc. They're not going to happen at the same time. I said, they are. She said, they weren't. And we went on in this way for a little while, you know. And I said, try it. 
And she did, and they came out at the same time. <laughs> so I say I worked on it with a tape recorder. And I was just listening recently to a wonderful, tremendous uh, gospel quartet called the Golden Gate uh, Gospel Quartet. They, are, they were functioning in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, they're still around, but not the same people. The people have died. And it's a good gospel quartet in its present form, but it's nothing like what it was originally. And what they do is something they call vocal percussion. So that instead of using, it's a cappella mostly, and instead of using an instrument to do rhythm, percussion, all of that, they use their voices and words. So, laka, 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 you know, it's things like that against the singing and the speaking. Anyway, something like that is happening here when I have her do begin to rivet a chair, persuasion, no side of the highway for a long, long time this week. I mean, that's vocal percussion against my, the days, more lyrical, the days in which sweet briar Nebraska at the spring at sunset, the night in disguise. And one of the things about that particular passage, um, do you know Charles Oz? you know who he was? Mm -hmm. um, great American composer. Um, and um, he set, in, in one piece he actually has two different orchestras playing different things going on at the same time, one behind a curtain, and all kinds of stuff like that. Well. His father famously, his father had perfect pitch and was the band leader of a small town in New England. And this is before radio, it was before phonographs, all of that stuff. And the band leader was a big deal in the town because the concertmaster, you know, because he was how you heard music. Otherwise, you really pretty much couldn't. I mean, you were supposed to, if you had a daughter, she was supposed to play the piano. And so there was that. But communal music, it had, and they, there was no way to, you know, sometimes people would come to town, but mostly the bandmaster was the one who did it. And one of the things he did, a famous experiment he did, he had one band, marching band, coming from one town, another marching band coming from a second town, they meet in a third town, both of them playing at the same time, completely different things, and it was a wonderful experience wow. for him. And I have took that kind of a principle and applied it to composition in music, a great composer. And anyway, one of his pieces sets um, Vachel Lindsay's wonderful poem, uh, General William Booth, who was the um, the uh, head of the Salvation Army, the founder of the Salvation Army, General William Booth enters the Kingdom of Heaven. It's a very fine poem by Rachel Lindsay and a marvelous setting by Charles Ives. And so I wanted to set Rachel Lindsay too. And um, as Adele is doing, began to rivet a chair, persuasion, no side of the highway for a long, long time. All of the phrases I say, though they're not in sequence, in the same sequence, all the phrases I say come from Rachel Lindsay. Oh, wow. So I'm setting Rachel Lindsay, just as I was setting Rachel Lindsay. So that's a, it's a, something people don't know about that particular, about the poem. The poem's about a kind of awakening. You know, nothing can be done. He's, he still hadn't had a dermal sensation. The block of the governor is there for revealing the muck of the place. You know, new adventures, listy undertake. And he begins to awaken to a kind of audacity as the thing goes on. He awakens to the multiplicity of the way in which this, of song, the multiplicity of song. Um, and then it's kind of what is, I don't know if people notice it, but <laughs> it's there in the, uh, in the poem. Anyway. That was great.